Talking about 100 firefighters in total that were working to put this fire out. It took them roughly five hours to get it under control and out entirely. It all started on the other side of this business in the strip mall here in Monroe Township. That is according to firefighters who don't really have a cause as of yet. However, one witness did report seeing somebody run from the area shortly after the fire was started. A massive response, a five alarm fire in Monroe Township. Every alarm that you call, you get, you get another fire department and more personnel. At one point, Chief Mark Cherney extended the call countywide, asking each department to send two or four firefighters to help. Everybody here is, is, is pretty whipped. It started around 1.30. A firefighter in a strip mall was responding to a carbon monoxide alarm. And he noticed black smoke coming out of this portion of the building over here. The back of the Michigan College of Beauty building, which had been vacant for some time. And the fire was spreading fast, prompting the use of ladders to fight from above. There was a stairwell that was going up to a loft area that was totally burned through. Getting closer to the dialysis company. We had to start evacuating the patients in there. They were able to do so without any injuries. However, the heat was taking its toll on firefighters. According to the Monroe County Sheriff's Department, 17 firefighters were treated on scene for heat exhaustion. We had two firefighters go to the hospital. Okay. And I, 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 from what I heard, they're doing good. Once all hotspots were put out, investigators were able to get inside and take a look around. It was started specifically in the vacant um, area. And just a few minutes ago, the last of the firefighters left and the place has been boarded up, at least the affected areas, and there's still crime tape here. And as you can see behind me, most of the businesses in this strip center are still in the dark. They're going to stay that way, at least for tonight. They hope to have the power restored and those businesses back open by sometime tomorrow. Reporting live in Monroe Township, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.